Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Andy Cohen. I have a unique situation. When I enter, so many people are standing up to greet me. It's, it's really wonderful. Um, so a couple of people asked what I do. Uh, who are you? And uh, what I do is I teach uh, people in companies uh, how to challenge their assumptions uh, in order to think differently and develop new innovative business strategies. I work with companies like Pfizer and uh, AOL and HSBC Bank and smaller companies like uh, US Health Group. Um, and I'm also an expert, an expert in magic. And what I'd like to do is I'd like now to teach you, to teach you the greatest secret in all of magic. The greatest secret in all of magic. And I think it could be possibly the greatest secret in all of business. But before I teach you and reveal the secret, I would like to teach you a trick. So what I'd like everybody to do, please, is pull out a coin, a quarter would be terrific. I'm not, take, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to pass it up here under the hat, but I want you to take out a quarter if you have it. If you don't have change, if the person next to you has some change, please uh, ex exchange the change. But I'd like everybody to get a quarter up there, please. Quarter, dime, quarter works the best. And just hold, just hold it up so I, I need to make sure everybody has something. Hold it up, please. Hold it up. Uh, this side here, I see, let's see, hold more. There you go, great. Terrific. All right, a little more, okay. All right, I hope everybody has it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use a, uh, this is actually a silver dollar, and I normally do not use the silver dollar, but because we're in such a large group here, um, I thought it would be best for a visual. So what I'm going to teach you is known as the French drop. When I did this at L'Oreal in Paris, they were all excited, the French, the French drop. Um, so basically, the, the, the illusion is this. It's what I did before. You basically, you're going to grab the coin in your right hand, and you're going to make it disappear. All right, that, that sounds really simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down for you. I have some illustrations that are actually from, I have a book coming out, October 3rd, called Follow the Other Hand. And um, it's a book that uses magic as metaphor to help people think differently. This is uh, one of the illustrations in the book. This is, uh, we still haven't finalized this one, but this is what I want everybody to do right now. This is going to be done in three steps. First, everybody, I'm righty, so I'm going to use my right hand. If you're lefty, use the opposite hand. Everyone hold their hand up. Hold your right hand up. Right hand up. And make a C, just like this. Just like that C, like that. Great, great, great. Now put your hand down. Now, take the coin that you have, and using your thumb and these two fingers, place the coin in your hand, in your left hand. All right? Now, this is what's going to happen. You're going to hear a little bit of change dropping on the floor, but that's okay. That's natural. All right, now at the count of three, all I want you to do is I want you to release the coin, and you're going to try to keep these fingers from moving as little as possible. Watch. See, see the illusion there? Ready? No, we didn't, I didn't say three yet. Ready? We'll do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Let it drop. There you go. There's always, <laughs> there's always one. But that's OK. That's natural. It takes years to practice this. But we're going to do it fairly quickly. One more time. Ready? One, two, three. Good. All right, let's go to step number two. Step number two is now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the C underneath the coin. The little part of the C, the bottom part of the C under the coin, and the top part of the C above it. And at the count of three, I want you to bring it right now into this position. So in a sense, if I was looking right here, I won't be able to see the coin, but it's in the hand. But I'll do it sideways. Ready? At the count of three, I want you just to drop the coin in your left hand and follow through with your other hand. All right? We'll do it together. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. I am impressed. That's pretty good. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. This is, uh, this is really good. You are a very good audience here. All right, ready? We'll try it again. Make the C. Bring the C through. When it's kind of hiding the coin, drop the coin and move through. That's terrific. That's great. Now, is there a brave soul that would like to stand up and just try this? Do we have one brave soul? We usually have one brave soul. All right, I won't pick anybody. I won't pick on anybody. Let's try one more time. Ready? One, two, 
three. Fantastic. That's great. Okay. Now, and I'll illustrate the last point here. And that's the last move. Now, why do I teach this? Besides, it's fun to learn, and you get to learn a trick. This is really the story behind the greatest secret of all of magic, and I'll reveal it right now. The greatest secret in all of magic is that the secret is not the secret. The secret of all of magic is you. And let me explain. We all have a desire to learn and figure out what's his secret. How do they do it? How does she achieve that? It's impossible. I want to know their secret. But the reality is that we all just learned exactly the same secret exactly at the same time. And yet as I watch each and every one of you, you perform that and use that secret differently. Some of you are technically proficient. You perform it flawlessly. Other people, I can see in your eyes the way you're going to do it, you're going to tell a little story. Other people will be very good at it but not interested. So the issue is, the real question that you have to ask yourself today as you absorb all this knowledge, the question I'd like you to ask, I'd like you to ask yourself, whoops, come here, whoop. what's your magic? What is it that makes you unique? What is it, what is your vision, what is your passion? Because it is that vision, that passion, that is going to make all the information that you learn today be able to put it into use and profit from it, and profit from it. Michael Dell's magic is not about making computers. Michael Dell's is a passion to eliminate the middleman. He's been doing it ever since he's 12 years old, when he started his first direct stamp business. That is his passion. So I want to, and I invite you today, to listen, to absorb, and then to begin to think how you are going to apply your magic to the information that you've learned. And I can see that you're listening. Some of you are actually even taking notes. And I will tell you that you will succeed. And when you do succeed, maybe a week from now, three months from now, six months from now, or maybe a year from now, one of your peers is going to come up to you. And they're going to say, how did you do that? How did you succeed? And you're going to answer the same way magicians have answered that question for centuries. You're going to say, I did it extremely well. Thank you very much for your time.